and welcome to another great edition of LA Rider. I'm Sandy Michelet and you're watching Louisiana's only locally produced motorcycle television program. We're coming to you tonight from American Cycle Accessories and a little bit later we're going to talk to Craig and see about some of the cool projects going on in the shop. But right now Bob Courtney is going to introduce us to some guys who still love to play in the dirt. Clark Johnson, age 61. Clueless McCarthy, I'm age 50. I'm Frank Fletcher, age 41. I'm Walter Panier, and I'm 52 years old, and I'm having the time of my life. They call themselves senior sports writers, and they're a perfect example of the old adage that you are only as old as you feel. Where does that act? Well, these guys certainly don't act their age. I can't testify as to how they may feel. I'm 61 years old. I feel like I'm 45, so I'm in good, yeah, I feel good, so I'm in good shape. Motorcycle's the main reason I'm in good shape. That's probably the main reason I'm in good shape. I thought I was too old to ride till I looked at his profile on the message board and saw how old he was, so I said, well, I got 10 years. <laughs> I'll be riding until I'm 71, 75, what the heck, you know? I got a street bike and a dirt bike, so I love motorcycles, they're a lot of fun, and the guys that are on the bikes are great people, they're salt of the earth people. Well, compared to a lot of these guys, yeah, I'm a kid, but you know, the average age of retirement in motocross is 26 years old. I done beat the average by what, 15 years? How long have you been riding? I've been riding motocross since I was five years old. They are all ages come from many different walks of life. Some have been riding for decades, others just a few years. But they all have a passion for riding fast and sometimes riding high, and of course kicking up a little dirt along the way. We caught up with the senior sports riders at the Highway 70 motocross track recently. They had just begun a four-race series that concludes this February. Mark Trepanier, their leader, says in the beginning the group, which by the way claims nearly 160 members, tried racing once a month, but that was ultimately reduced to six times a year. We are a group of 30 and over uh, riders, more, mainly riding motocross. We do some trail riding. Several of us have street bikes, but uh, we mainly um, got involved in this thing through motocross, and that's, that's how we started the group. And uh, we're 30 and over, and we have a lot of guys that are, you know, in their 50s and uh, still enjoying what it, what it is, basically an extreme sport. And some of us get hurt from time to time. I've been off for a year myself, and, uh, but we're still having a good time. Yes, they sometimes fall down, and they sometimes suffer injuries. But that does not dampen their enthusiasm for the sport. A sport they claim is their very own private fountain of youth. It does keep you in shape if, you, if you're really serious about it. It'll keep you in shape and, and it, of course it does a lot for other things to you, for you mentally and spiritually. So at a time in their lives when many of their friends are thinking about Medicare, these guys are talking and riding motocross and loving every minute of it. It's another part of the enjoyment of this sport. It's just wonderful. It makes you feel young again. 